Are you an astronomy geek that likes to keep updated with brilliant new scientific discoveries? Well then, you've landed in the right place. Hello and welcome to Beyond Unknown. Today in this video, we'll talk about a new discovery NASA has made regarding Pluto which can prove to be consequential for people seeking life outside Earth. Is our existence tied to that of Pluto and is it habitable for humankind? These are some of the questions we seek to answer in this episode. So if you're interested, then stick around till the end of the video. And don't forget to press that big thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Now, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. A study published in the journal Nature Geoscience on June 22, 2020 has opened for us a new window into the events occurring in space during prehistoric times. It concludes that when Earth was still in the form of a liquid molten mass swimming in hot magma, Pluto and its undersurface ocean were in their early phases of development. This liquid plutonian water has been in existence under the surface of the planet for gazillions of years since, possibly providing a humble abode for life. The study speaks of different theories written by scientists regarding the early days of Pluto and suggests that oceans might also be present on other dwarf planets across the solar system. This is contrary to the belief that oceans are unique to our globe. S. Alan Stern, an astronomer at the Southwest Research Institute and head of NASA's New Horizons mission, says, Oceans are ubiquitous. Most of them are in the outer solar system and they could be abodes for life. This is a fundamental sea change in the way we view the solar system. Buried Plutonian Water In 2015, when the New Horizons Space Shuttle made its cruise over Pluto, it discovered a topography and geography so complex and active that scientists began suspecting the presence of a huge body of ocean deep underground the Pluto's thick icy crust many years ago. Those suspicions have now come closer to becoming presumptions in recent years. And as of today, many scientists believe that even now, a global liquid ocean is present beneath the surface of Pluto. Even though some of the evidence collected over the years suggests that Pluto currently possesses a body of liquid ocean underneath its hard and icy crust, Researchers have claimed that this underground water body was formed long after the birth of the planet, after its ice melted away due to heat from radioactivity in Pluto's core. It makes us wonder though, how does a planet smaller than the Earth's moon is able to harbor an ocean? And over the course of all these years, how did it keep it from freezing completely? The new study, however, provides scientists and us with all the answers to these questions. Up until this day, astronomers had the opinion that Pluto was formed out of chunky bits of cold material clumping up together. As a ring of dusty debris collapsed upon each other while orbiting the sun, the dwarf planet would have slowly formed from the coalescing of bits of ice and rock. As the planet grew in size, its internal heat would have melted the chunks of ice, creating an underground oceanic body. This theory seems to work well with scientists as Pluto's subsurface ocean can simply be explained by the decay of radioactive particles. Nonetheless, the team of scientists being as curious as can be wanted to put their theory to the test. What they were trying to figure out was if Pluto had a hot start instead, much of that like Earth, in which a series of collisions took place to give rise to a planet. Lead study author Carver Bierson, a graduate student at the University of California Santa Cruz says, We understand this picture fairly well from the early inner solar system through meteorites and other things. We actually don't have much of a picture for the outer solar system. Keeping Pluto in the Freezer Lucky for the science community is the fact that there is actually a way to tell if Pluto started off hot or cold, simply by observing the surface of the dwarf planet. It is in reference to the fact that water compresses when it melts and expands when frozen. Stern explains, if you take a glass of water and put it in the freezer, that glass is going to break overnight because when the water freezes, it expands. The same thing is true on Pluto. When water freezes, it becomes less dense simply because the molecules vibrate less and give form to a crystalline structure at sub-zero temperatures. Because of this density difference, ice floats on water and upon melting expands to take the form of liquid water. Likewise, if Pluto had a hot start and then froze over time, its surface should have expanded, leaving traces of evidence of topographic features formed as a result of expansion. But if Pluto started cold, its surface would display evident features formed as a result of compression. To find out which of the two possibilities is true, the team began looking for indications of compression or expansion in the New Horizons data, and what they found out came as a surprise to everyone. Bierson says, We see terrains on Pluto that look to be very old, roughly the age of the solar system, and we don't see evidence of that compression. This suggests that the planet in fact had a hot start. A particular example can be seen in Pluto's craters. When an icy world such as the dwarf planet faces an impact, neat circles are formed. With time, all of Pluto's craters have been stretched, even the ones present in the oldest terrains. 
However, none of them show signs of compression. Of course, there are other pieces of evidence to support the discovery. Using the hot start reference, Beerson put forward a model to try to explain Pluto's early formation. He explained that if Pluto were to form through a series of large impacts, the heat released from these collisions would continually increase as time passed. This increase in temperatures would help in maintaining the planet's oceans in liquid form. However, Beerson added that in order for that to have happened, the world must have formed in some 30,000 years if not less. Regardless of that, this theory aligns with other recent models that explain the early evolution of the Kuiper Belt, a ring of icy particles and dwarf planets, including Pluto, that are present outside of Neptune's orbit. Some studies show that some of the smaller Kuiper Belt objects could have formed over the course of a couple hundred or thousand years. He says, it's kind of nice that the geology is telling us this. People trying to understand the Kuiper Belt dynamics are also coming to this conclusion. He adds that the reasoning for Pluto starting hot is a weird, surprising answer. Of course, the presumed searing start for Pluto carries direct implications for Pluto's neighbors, such as Eris, Makemake, and Haumea, because if Pluto began as a hot and fast body, other dwarf planets might have done too. This newfound discovery, together with the knowledge of the ice-cold ocean moons around giant planets in the solar system, has forced scientists to overturn their old ideas of Earth being the sole body with an ocean in our solar system. It could very well be possible that outer space is surprisingly even more rich in liquid water. This could mean that these distant icy worlds carry the potential of being habitable to life. At this point, we don't know the ingredients or recipe needed for life to emerge on any world, Beerson said. Still, we think liquid water is an important ingredient, and this work suggests Pluto has had that for a long time. Stern says, dozens of worlds in the inner and outer solar systems could have oceans. It's one of the most profound discoveries in planetary science in the space age. It is true, though, that it can be profoundly difficult for life to emerge on a planet such as Pluto, evidenced by the fact that it is present at a distance of approximately 4 billion miles away from the Sun, a distance that is 40 times the distance between the Earth and Sun. With this distance, almost no light reaches the dwarf planet, allowing the temperatures to plunge down to minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. But if there were a warm subsurface ocean present beneath Pluto's crust, it could harbor and protect life from asteroid collisions and radiation. Stern adds, The interesting thing about oceans on the inside is that in some ways, they're much safer havens for life. You're protected from impacts like the ones that killed the dinosaurs. If the sun releases flares or a supernova goes off, then you're safe from that. Well, this is it for today's video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, then show us some love by liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Which evolutionary belief do you root for? The hot start one or the cold start one? And what do you think the consequences of such discoveries will be for mankind in the next couple of years? Write and share with us your thoughts in the comment section down below. We hope to see you soon, but until then, goodbye and take care.